Salman's lawyer Shrikant Shivaid stated that the actor's driver is truthful along with saying that it was him who was driving the car. Read on to know more. Bollywood actor Salman Khan's lawyer Shrikant Shivaid on Saturday described the actor's driver Ashok Singh, who owned responsibility for the 2002 accident, as most truthful and natural witness in the case. The defense lawyer pointed out that Singh's testimony shows Salman did not flee from the scene of the accident on September 28, 2002, which left one dead and four others injured outside a bakery in Bandra. He is the most truthful and natural witness. In fact, he has supported what the prosecution has been saying and during his cross-examination, the core of his testimony was not questioned. Shivaid argued before additional sessions Judge D.W. Desh banned in the ongoing final arguments of the retrial of the high-profile case involving Salman. Shivaid pointed out how Singh had testified a mob of around 5,100 people, some armed with rods and stones gathered there after the accident when Salman, his bodyguard Ravindra Patil, singer Kamal Khan were present. What Singh is saying is correct, truthful. There were actually four people in the vehicle and Singh was driving it. Shivaid said, adding that the accident occurred due to a tire burst and not negligence on the part of the driver. Dwelling on why it took 13 years for Singh to confess, Shivaid said he got the opportunity only now, since a defense witness can be examined only after the prosecution completes its case, and Singh gave his statement at the first opportune moment. He said the Khan family had three drivers, Ashok Singh, Datu and Altaf. And Singh felt particularly bad that Salman had to encounter the problems, especially when he drives him, Salman, to the court. Shivaid also argued how during the examination in chief and cross-examination, Singh had said he had dialed police control number 100 and then went to the Bandra police station. There, he was made to sit on the bench and kept waiting. He was interrogated, but his statement was not recorded. Why? The next day Salman was booked for the offense and released on bail, he pointed out. The defense lawyer urged Judge Deshpan to discard the evidence of Patil, who had lodged the first complaint in the case, and later passed away due to natural causes during the pendency of the trial. When police reached the accident site and asked Patil about it, he kept quiet. And fur was lodged later and subsequently he made a supplementary statement. He argued that Patil has alleged Salman was intoxicated and driving the case. Being a policeman and knowing drunk and driving is a serious offense, why did he not inform police about Salman's role when they first questioned him about it? He argued that this non-disclosure by Patil could render the subsequent fur illegal, and in view of the enhanced charge of culpable homicide not amounting to murder, Salman would be prejudiced since Patil is no longer available for cross-examination. Shivaid also contended that there was no similarity between this case and Alistair Pereira hit-and-run case, cited by the prosecution during its final arguments.